Now that we have the focus, let's put those big old brains to use the future of robotics in uh, industry exploration. I think every field of science may very well turn on a hub of ingenious creativity happening in South African schools, and we love that. Helderberg Robotics is a dedicated group of students coached by a man with a vision where our young engineering and electronics minds can go to grow, and they've made great strides already. We caught up with them as they get set for the World Robot Olympiad. This collective has already distinguished itself on the world stage. Categories for the Olympiad run from robots which compete in football to open problem-solving fields and advanced challenges. Tony Williams turns these young enthusiasts into proficient competitors. I help with the training, I do coaching. We do outreach to schools, to the community, so once a year we have an open day. We start at clubs at Satari at Spiner Road and at Crystal House in Autry. So we want to bring robotics to the child in the street. I've been building and programming robots since 2011. That is eight years ago. Um, I got into robotics firstly at a young age when building with Lego and then a few years later I saw my parents working with robots. Robotics was always part of our family and I grew up building robots and that's what I'm doing now. To be a robot builder and programmer, you, you must have patience because the robot won't always do what you want it to do on the day. I've been programming for a few months and my technology teacher um, spoke a lot about it in class and it seemed interesting, that's why I decided to join. Now when they come here, every kid likes to build. So we give them a robot to build. They've got a guideline in a little manual and they build and then we teach them how to let it go forward and back. That's the lesson one. When they come back for lesson two, we teach them how to follow a line. And then we bring in our sensors. There's touch sensors, there's ultrasonic sensors, light sensors, infrared sensors. And every time they come back, we teach them another skill. So at the end of the day, we give them a challenge incorporating all those skills. And they just love it. This is where the interest in the subject is directed, upskilled, then challenged to solve real problems. To become a good robot program and builder, you need to be creative. You need to think differently, out of the box. To program a robot well, you need to be very systematic. Robots follow you point to point. In front of me, I've got my robot, Bobby. He's a Generation 2 striker three in football. And um, the main objective of the game is to, of course, like any other game of soccer, get the ball into the opponent's box. And um, we are able to do this with sensors. For instance, the infrared sensor on the robot can detect where the ball is because the ball emits infrared light. We have a ultrasonic sensor, now this allows us to see distance. And we use um, the side of the playing field to determine um, how far we are and our position on the map so that we can rotate and shoot for the box. This year's World Robotics Olympiad is focusing on technology to help grow more food, better food and to reduce waste. The spirit of competition is what drives this innovation. They've been winning the FLL, the WRO, and in 2015 they went to Qatar to represent South Africa there, they came 26. In 2016 they went to India and they came fifth in the world out of 76 countries. This year we are much stronger, much better, much more equipped. We will be representing South Africa in Thailand. We want to place first in the world. A few, a few years ago, we placed fifth. This year, we're taking it home. I would encourage people to come and um, take part in the open days and the workshops that we have. My friends was not interested in joining robotics, and I said they should come and see just for one day what we are doing and what are we programming. And they came and they joined. In. If we are to meet the goals we aim for as a nation, the dynamic young minds behind these robots will play their part.